A woman in Texas is shaken up after she was rushed to the emergency room for a parent uh, poisoning incident. Uh, Aaron Don Sims, 37, was celebrating her birthday with her husband early in, earlier this week after enjoying some food and alcoholic beverage <clears throat> at a restaurant in northern Houston, Texas. Uh, Don and her husband made their way to their car for the destination. But once there, let's say, but once there, uh, Don came across a napkin stuffed into a car door handle, not thinking much of it. She removed it with her acrylic fingernails and opened the door handle with her bare fingers. Minutes later, after confirming her husband was out, I mean, was not responsible for the napkin, Don fingers, fingers and, and, uh, and then arms began to tingle. After experiencing a few symptoms, uh, she was rushed to the hospital where doctors revealed her vitals were not stable and she had acute poisoning. That's crazy. Acute poisoning. It's still unclear what the substance was used to poison her, but doctors believe it could have been, you know, an attempt to kidnapping. Uh, Don is, is now looking to obtain footage of the parking lot and file is now looking to obtain footage of the parking lot and uh, file police reporting. You know, so uh, <clears throat> this is obviously an incident a woman is letting us know, you know, this is just something that y'all need to honestly be safe about. If y'all see a, a napkin or door handle that's stuck in y'all door, you know? So I just wanted to make sure I read this before we got into the video right now, but let's go ahead and get it to y'all boys and see what happened. Aaron Dawn, I just want to share with y'all the experience. <clears throat> What's up y'all, it's me, Aaron Dawn. I just want to share with y'all the experience that I had yesterday on my birthday. What started off as a great day turned into being one of the scariest moments of my life. My husband and I decided to go to Prospect. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erin Dawn. I just want to share with y'all the experience that I had yesterday on my birthday. What started off as a great day turned into being one of the scariest moments of my life. My husband and I decided to go to Prospect Park on the north side of Houston for Taco Tuesday before we head to the spa. I never made it to the spa or to my birthday dinner because I was immediately rushed to the hospital. So I know y'all wondering what happened. Um, after we finished eating, we walked to the car and I had a napkin sticking out of my door hand. So this isn't the actual napkin, but I just wanted to give y'all an idea of how it was sticking out the door handle. So when I saw it, I just picked it up with my fingernails like this and I tossed it out. I didn't touch the napkin, but guess what? I still opened the door with my fingertips. I'm a slick side germaphobe, so normally I wouldn't touch anything like that, but I did have a margarita and I just, I don't know, I guess I just thought maybe my husband put it in the door just playing around or just trying not to let up. So once my husband got off the phone, I asked him, did you put a napkin in my door? And he was like, no. So immediately I started looking for the hand sanitizer. I'm like, oh my God. So he was just like, um, just go back inside, wash your hands. It's going to be okay. I went inside, washed my hands, and maybe like two minutes later, my fingertips started tingling. And I'm like, dang, dog, I'm, I'm tripping. Let me just chill. It's not nothing. Got in the car. We started driving. I didn't tell him right away. I said, I'm just going to, you know, wait a few minutes and see how it does. Then maybe after about five minutes, my whole arm just started tingling. Then it starts to feel numb. I got lightheaded. I felt like I couldn't breathe. Um, I just, I got hot. It just was a whole bunch of different feelings at one time. And I, I started to panic. Uh, he calmed me down. He told me to just, you know, just calm down, drink some water, just breathe, just breathe. I took, you know, deep breaths. Um, he called 911 because we weren't in our normal area. So um, we didn't know like where the nearest emergency room was. So he called 911. Uh, and they kind of directed us to the nearest hospital. Once we got to the emergency room, I um, explained to them what happened and immediately they brought me to the back, took my uh, blood pressure and everything. They say my vitals were not stable. So they immediately put me in a room and gave me some fluids. They ran a whole bunch of tests. I had a CAT scan, um, just a whole bunch of stuff. I was there for about six and a half hours. The doctor said I had acute poisoning from an unknown substance. I didn't have enough of it in my system to determine what it was. But just that little amount had me messed up, y'all. Like, So just imagine if I would have grabbed it with my full hand. Like, I probably could have been dead, dog. Like, so I'm just recording this to let y'all know, like, be careful. 
the doctors say it could have been a possible kidnapping attempt so just for everybody all the women in houston and just everywhere y'all just be careful when you're out um pay attention to your surroundings just just be careful be safe thank god my husband was there just to help me calm me down and bring me to the emergency room in enough time they got some crazy people in the world y'all like i never thought this would happen to me or on my side of town so it could happen anywhere y'all i'm just thankful that i'm i'm here um i just ask that y'all share this video because everybody needs to know everybody needs to be aware of what's going on what's up y'all it's okay so just letting y'all know man this is this is definitely something that needs to be taken serious uh there we go i wanted to show this picture to y'all right quick right so i have honestly you know I, I, i'm gonna say this though i'm actually you know glad that you know things didn't go the way that they possibly could have went you know with her you know and i do hope and pray that you know that she's able to find who was up who, who was behind this you know but knowing how cosby and if it's not something that's drastic, something that happened to somebody, they really probably not going to get onto it. So I'm positive that this is probably going to be the last time that we hear something about this. And if it's not, I'm going to make sure to do a, um, you know, someone like like a like an update video on on what happened if they found somebody who possibly did do this, you know. But I have heard something like this, and this seemed like something that's been going on with years, you know. Uh, I have noticed one time it was at the gas station, you know, they was giving people HIV by putting needles on the gas station so i mean at the gas station so when you grab the pump it punctures you you know they had put a they had put a little a little thing of hiv on it tape it to the pump so when you grab it it sticks you and now it's in your blood and now you have it you know they was doing that with fentanyl you know and they and they was um basically making basically oh making people od and 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 kidnapping people and, and trafficking people all because of just them touching the substance, you know, and it's and it's pretty crazy because I know that a lot of people probably don't think that this is fentanyl, you know. Um, I could probably hey, there you go. You just over. Get your stop this right now. It was loud. It's my God. Uh, can I uh, see the comments? Like, dang. But... Okay, there we go. My bad, y'all. Uh, thank you for sharing. Acute poisoning, but you didn't have enough of your system for them to find out what it was. You sure it was about the napkin? If if, if it's not something you ate just before, if it was poisoning, then I had to give you some antidote to make it make much sense. Uh, to to not make them, it's not making uh making much sense this story. I, I guess so, but they kind of messed that up. Made me feel like I couldn't read. Sis, could I have been in your f food? You said you were uh, unfamiliar territory. Uh, don't leave any stones unturned. So, hey, I guess a lot of people ain't believing her. It was somebody she knew. Says, how did you determine right that it was the napkin or food poison inside the restaurant without testing the actual napkin? I mean, touching. I guess she meant touching. It's a drug that's so powerful. If you touch it, it could cause death. I'm sure someone in the comments knows. They finna say fentanyl can do that. I was thinking the same facts. But why would someone try to kill an innocent person? If it was a drug, if that, if, excuse me, I'm sorry. If it was that drug, then it, this isn't the treatment they would have given her. Her vitals wouldn't have been unstable, but going down drastically is, it's, uh, it's a car, carfin, uh, that's a lot. It's carfin, uh, that you're thinking about, but this isn't. This case sounds more like germs, uh, phobias that cause a panic attack because they don't, uh, do cat scans for poisoning. There are special treatments given for poison, for poisoning uh, of this drug or else you die. Plus, she said acute poisoning, but not enough of them to get it to identify it. Doesn't make sense. If you have enough to have acute symptoms, you have enough for them to identify it. So um, I'm guessing uh, what she's meaning by her. I'm not going to say that she didn't like because it seems like honestly, the people in the comments are like somewhat uh questioning her on what was going on you know but i feel like that she said the doctors uh was able to figure out that it was acute poisoning but they're not they can't determine if it was from the napkin you know they can't determine what it was directly from and i'm guessing that's what she's saying like oh uh, you have acute poisoning but 
You know, we can't tell if it was from some food or if it was from you touching a napkin, but you definitely had acute poison. I'm guessing that that's what they're saying. You know, that's like you, it's like, uh, you break out of hives or something. They're like, how did you break out of hives? Well, I mean, I ate some food. Okay. There might've been an allergic reaction, you know, but I, I, pros, I pause it. They can't tell. Okay. You ate, um, uh, a grape and that's why you have rashes. So I guess that's what she's saying. But moral of the story, I have heard of this situation once before, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, I a hundred percent have heard about the little napkin thing. Uh, uh, if you see a napkin on your door, if you see a, a card or something on your windshield, or it was it was something like that it was going viral. They were just saying, do not touch it and stop and call the police because uh, it's a substance on there that will have you OD in, which is this fentanyl, which is this possibly would not be uh, that case because a small dose will probably have you passing away if you, you know, was to touch the fentanyl. But um, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying is that, you know, just basically be careful, y'all. And this uh, happened in Houston, Texas, but this is not the only place this has happened before. This has happened all over the world, you know, but I just wanted to kind of make this video to inform y'all on the possible dangers of things that will happen and could possibly happen. And just to be more careful, you know, uh, the little napkin, you see any napkins or anything that's on your car, you know what I'm saying? That's in the, that's in the place you have to touch it. Be careful. You know what I'm saying? Just, just think. Uh, I say probably call the police and, and and just for your safety, you know what I'm saying? Because you never know what could possibly happen. This is not something new. This has been going on for years. Like I said, I've heard about this for years and I just made sure to keep that on my mind, you know, but something like this really just made me somewhat remind me of what could possibly go on. So I need to really stay on my P's and Q's, especially being in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So much traffic out here, but uh, make sure y'all boys enjoy this video. Just smash the like button, comment, and subscribe for your boy, man. Remember, the more likes that this video get, the higher that it will rank, man. So let's get this video to number one. Also, man, the boys on uh, Discord with us. So y'all boys want to follow me on Discord and be a part of some videos, some crazy lit challenges, man. Just come over to the Discord side, man. But let's get us go.